All new this morning, he's a best-selling author who has multiple books set in West Michigan because of his love for the area, and he's not even from here. It looks like a Hallmark movie, and I thought I have to be a part of this. Wade Rouse is from the Missouri Ozarks. He says once while vacationing in Cape Cod, he was convinced to check out West Michigan. I said Michigan has beaches. So ended up coming to Saugatuck on vacation the very next summer and fell in love. And I thought, is this place real? Chatting with 13 on your side in the heart of downtown Saugatuck. As you can hear from the Saugatuck chain ferry that's cranking up. Just one of its many gems. Which is, if people don't know, the last hand crank chain ferry in the U.S. He says he's always wanted to be an author, even though. It's not like a normal career path for a kid like me that liked to read and write. Growing up in the 1970s was difficult, but I had a mother and grandmother that loved me unconditionally and supported my dreams fully. Today, he's the internationally best-selling author of nine books, which have been translated into 20 languages, using the pen name Viola Shipman after his grandmother, who was a seamstress. Never finished high school, never learned to drive, and she sacrificed everything for our family, and it's the reason I'm here today. And my grandmother was overlooked in society. She offered nothing of value people thought to town, our town or our world, and yet she offered everything simply by loving me unconditionally. Her name no longer being overlooked. 50 years from now, if I'm no longer here, people will say my grandmother's name. You know, no one said her name during her life, and I want people to say it. He moved to West Michigan around 2006 after publishing his first book, leaving behind his life as a PR director. I quit my job, left my salary, my IRA, my retirement, my benefits, and just started writing, and it was the best decision I ever made. Living in a cabin built in 1918, full of nostalgia and with an intimidating garden. My husband Gary is an incredible gardener, and he put all of this together, and many of them are heirloom flowers from our own grandmothers, including my grandmother's peonies. They started in her garden. She used to grow long rows of peonies and hang her sheets over them so that when I would stay with her and she tucked me in at night, and pull up the sheet, she would say, this is what heaven's going to smell like. Three of his books take place in the Saugatuck area. I'm fascinated by environment, especially in our lives and the stories that I tell because setting changes us. Where we live, the people we surround ourselves with impacts who we are on a daily basis. West Michigan, I think is, and I've traveled the world, is I think one of the most beautiful spots, not only in the U.S., but in the entire world. Spreading that message across the globe through his work. It's not just people from Michigan that are reading my books and are traveling here. Every single day I get an email or a letter from a reader that's coming to West Michigan to want to visit and see the beauty um, that I write about because they don't believe it's as beautiful as I describe. And it is, as you can see. His next book is already in the works. This one's set in South Haven. It's called The Page Turner and will be out in the spring.